Lakers and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up and off we go from Lambeau. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. forward to about the 27 yard line give him three there on the first play of the game and it's second down give credit to the defense for stringing that play out and they gave up no cutback angle you know he was trying to dart through no place for him to go a nice job there only giving up a three yard gain and that'll be incomplete took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in couldn't hang on third down well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Play action now, Prescott. Now he's forced out right. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. On the counter, Elliott. This one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, Okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. A diving catch for the score. He laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? <laughs> all the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box. Touchdown. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. On the return, it's Taylor. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 24. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, 
but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A give to Jones. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. The give is to Jones. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing, and I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Now the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. First carry now for A.J. Dillon. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. They'll go with Jones. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run it with Jones. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Jones. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Here's Dillon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Dillon now on first and 10. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Rodgers going to give this one to Dillon. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Mark, that is a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have... And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Crosby with the extra point, And we are tied here in the second quarter. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back.
back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Prescott looks to throw on first. That is caught by Lamb. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards the pick up, first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 47 yards on the ground for him so far. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll try to throw now. Prescott eluding the pressure right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Well, he strung it out as far as he could, and I like the fact that he kept his eyes downfield, but he finally ran out of time and room. But I'll take that over forcing it downfield and possibly having it intercepted. Try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Got it. 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. Looking deep for Adams. This is intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. An unfortunate sequence there. Try to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Throwing again on second and 10. Prescott, oh, he's gonna let this go for the end zone. And that's gonna be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And this will be brought out to the 20th. Five as Taylor elects to not return it. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Second down, another shot for Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Now Jones. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. On play action. Now Rodgers. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. 
And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing, they're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And Charles, you'd have to think this is where you want to start taking some time off the clock. Oh, definitely, because you got the lead, right? You take a good look up there and you say, okay, what do we need to do here? Well, you're not in full-out protect mode. You want to make sure you run it, throw it safe, take some time off, and eat it up. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. Off the play fake, Prescott. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. Second and nine. Again, it's Jones. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Rodgers. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 13 yards, first down, Packers. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and ten. Now Rodgers. Over the middle complete. That's Lewis. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Now it's Rodgers. Got him in. Open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Crosby connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping Chili on the other side of the ball, saying, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. On second down. 
It's Elliott. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. Prescott now. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. He's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. One heck of a third down conversion. 33 yards. This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays, and there's an example of that right there. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Flushed out right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Trying to get away, but could not. DeAndre Campbell flies in to blow that play up. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Extra point try now for Crosby. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit and they need this drive to end in points. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. On second down, Elliott. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. They go to Elliott again. And they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 70 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Here's second and ten. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Meanwhile, Dak's throw there caught by Gallup. 
And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Prescott. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 19. 23 yards the pick up there. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in which you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Steps away to his left. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now Prescott. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see you nodding your head up and down. That's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. And Prescott, his third interception. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Packers have just about sewn up this football game. Just when you thought this game...